Hey friends, my name is Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler. <sighs> Since we are into July already, I figured I might as well, you know, film and post this TVR for the month. <laughs> um, it's going to be pretty short, I have to say. Um, and <clears throat> if I cough, I apologize. I ran out of my normal hairspray, which is unscented. And the only thing I have to use now is Aussie Mega Hold. You know, stuff that smells like fake grape soda, sort of. So, um, it's, I bought, um, feeling nostalgic for the nineties about six years ago and <laughs> this can is still going strong. So, uh, if you know what that smells like, 1993, uh, <laughs> that's, that's what I currently like, whoo, gassing myself out here. <clears throat> Anyways, hello. <laughs> okay. So for my TBR this month, I think this is a group read. And if so, I think think I'm joining in. It's a lot of iffy here. But um, Danny at Spinelli Speaks told me about this and she was like, it's on your shelf. Why don't you read it with us? So that would be For the Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. Yes, I did order this copy from the UK before it's published in the US. And no, I have not read it yet and it's been out for several years. Hi, my name is Laura. Have we met before? This is very on brand for me. So I think from what I can remember from what Danny said, I think it's Emily at Novel Novels. Victoria at Musical Bookworm, obviously Danny, and there were two or three other ladies too, and I apologize, I don't remember who they were, but I'm going to hopefully be reading this one. Speaking of Danny, we are working on the Pink Carnation series by Lauren Willig. So um, this weekend we'll be three quarters of the way through this book, The Orchid Affair. This is book number eight, which means we will be starting book number nine here. This is The Garden Intrigue. This takes place in France. So we are back in France for this one. So those are my like for sure, well, pretty much for sure reading. Uh, then it's Jane Austen July, hosted by Katie at Books and Things, Claudia at Spinster's Library. And I feel like there's a third person. I apologize, I don't remember who that would be. But if there is a third person, I will find and link them below. <sighs> They have five prompts and two group reads, Persuasion and Mansfield Park. And my brain is pretty much mush. Um, I have failed like every TBR and every um, readathon of any kind I have joined in, I think this year. So I'm not gonna set myself up to fail. What I will do instead is read something I have that's Jane Austen-ish. So I have some pictures to insert, picture number one here. Um, these are the top two shelves of my Jane Austen bookshelf. Um, so the very top shelf is uh, nonfiction and fiction books about Jane herself. There's a letter collection, her covers, a Darcy Christmas I can read, um, the biography by her, was it nephew? Um, things like that. The second shelf, um, is more Jane stuff. Oh, and then I have books and books like that are based off of those books, if that makes sense, um, put together. So I have like the Sanditons, Love and Friendship, that, the, that kind of thing. Then I have the Carrie Bieberus mystery series that is featuring Jane Austen as a sleuth. Um, I have Sense and Sensibility and then all the books based off of Sense and Sensibility. And I have that for that. Uh, let's see if I can read these from here. Persuasion, Northanger Abbey, Mansfield Park, Emma. And then this second picture now is the third and fourth shelf. Uh, the third shelf, the stuff on top is Emma related. And then everything actually physically on the shelf is Pride and Prejudice or Pride and Prejudice Riff, including the fourth shelf. Uh, the left side is more Pride and Prejudice things. There's a lot out there. And then it's all, that rest of that shelf is the rest of, the rest of. Uh, it's um, the Bronte sisters. So I have, if I have works about them, nonfiction, I have that with their fiction books together. So um, yeah, so I'll be pulling something for Jane Austen July off of my shelves. I don't know what, I'm, I'm feeling like it'll be a nonfiction about her life somehow, but we'll see what I feel like when I actually come time to pull something to read. So that's coming up this month. And then outside of that, 
I'm counting this month as just a catch-up month. I have 22 books checked out from the library, six of which are either overdue currently or will be due by Tuesday the 6th. So uh, I need to finish reading the one that I started and then read the other five start to finish. Two are novellas, it shouldn't be too bad. And then everything else will be due throughout the rest of July. So if I can finish the other, I'm bad at math, what, 17 books, 18 books, whatever that is, those are on my list. And then here are two more <laughs> photographs. So this first one here is my um, intended to be short-term TBR. That's right behind my couch. It's sitting on the top of my uh, massage and energy work books, my, that bookshelf. So they're mostly chunksters now. Some stuff I haven't finished, but I pulled because I wanted to read for something or other. Um, and then um, there's two little short stacks on the sides. Those are primarily books that I started reading over ebook from the library. They got returned and I just stuck the stuck a, a bookmark in where I left off so I could pick up the physical books again. You can see that's going great. So that's that one. And then the second photograph here, this taller stack, those are my more recent <laughs> pulls from, I think, May and June, um, TBRs, readathons, whatever, um, that I would like to get to. So those are my priorities for the month. Also, um, Danny and I are working on a big project in real life, and it's taking all of my brain power. It really is. It's taking my time and my brain power. So I don't have much <laughs> left to give here, so I'm trying to pretty much just take it easy on myself. The little reading time I do have, I fall asleep quickly, so I'm not pressuring myself at all to catch up on anything. I mean, do anything big. I'm not joining in on a bunch of things. I'm just going to read a few and then just let whatever happens, happens. So if I don't read any other library books and they all go back, that's a bummer, but it's okay. That kind of a thing. Also for August, as a heads up, my, I plan on reading books that you all have recommended to me for August. I have a list that I've kept in a little notebook here um, for the last year and a half or so of people who have mentioned things that they thought I would like before. I've done a couple of videos in the first few months of my channel where I asked for specific recommendations for things. I'm going to pull all that together, go through that notebook, go through my own little other lists. I have, of course, papers everywhere with books I've seen on someone else's channel, whatever. Put them all in a jar. And then if you guys want to leave books that you recommend to me, um, I will put everything in a strip of paper. And then in for my, for my August TBR, I'll pull out mm, two or three or four to start uh, out of this jar and start there. And then on Friday reads, if I'm finishing things up, finishing up recommended books, I'll pull another one or two strips. So I'll do that throughout the month of August. So please feel free to leave any recommendations for me below. I'll add them to the lists as it were. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be doing more of uh, my June part two wrap up. I still haven't posted part one, that's terrible. Uh, but I'll be doing that soon combined with my uh, second quarter wrap up. I still have to post my book haul, all the things. So you'll be seeing more of me. Plus next weekend, the 9th through the 12th, I wanna say it is, is the mid-month book bash. So I'll be reading for that. And then we'll have a vlog posted for the following Tuesday. So anyways, hi, I'm back. I've missed you guys. And um, are you guys participating in Jane Austen July? Anything else I'm missing out on? Let me know. I hope you're all doing well. Reading something super, super fantastic, like swamping over your mind. Like it's real life as a distraction and you, you just can't wait to get back to this book. I hope you're reading that kind of a book and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.